I'm from Venezuela, for those who don't know, and I grew up with seeing people being unable to access loans. People in America, just by virtue of being born, they get a SIN number, and banks just throw money at them. And that is not the case when you go south of Texas, or, you know, or east or west of either one of the coasts. Your access to credit breaks. Before Bitcoin, when I wanted to lend some money into somebody that was in a different country, there was no asset that I could legally take to lend money into that person. Bitcoin changed that entirely. At Ledin, we service clients from Colombia to Patagonia to Portugal. And every one of those clients can send us the same asset. They get their money in the same timeline and they pay the same interest rate. That is equalizing access to credit around the world. To me, that is a net benefit to the world and is a net benefit for Bitcoin. I've seen what it has done for my clients and you can't shake that away from me. So I do think that Bitcoin equalizes access to credit. I do think that it is, it should exist and I'm proud to be part of what's pushing that.